We all know that littering is a big problem. So, and we all know that plastics are very difficult to recycle. For the time being, the European Food Safety Authority does not, for example, offer any food contact material in plastics to be recycled and reused for food production afterwards. So, we hope and to aim for to reduce plastics in our environment, in our production processes, in order to take it as much out of the consumption cycle and process as much as possible. There are alternatives that are being scaled up or that are massively being developed in different countries about uh, like packaging free shops or deposit refund schemes for even for takeaway food uh, because this is a, a main thing where people are like oh, I don't want to I don't want to stop having takeaway but there are systems reusable systems and deposit refund schemes that would will allow us to still have the same comfort but by having a lot less impact on the environment and probably having a much better impact on our health we are at, a, I think, a turning point uh, in the European debate around plastics and especially single-use plastics because we are about to adopt a directive on single-use plastics. The legislation is clearly forcing uh, a higher recycling rate uh, and uh, the industry partners are working actually heavily uh, on that subject and uh, it's at the end, uh, I cite a, a representative from the Commission, it's also a big opportunity for Europe to be here in the forefront of the development of better recycling. Uh, materials. Looking at the different options which you have, recycle, biodegradable or incineration. Incineration gives obviously other issues that you blow up carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Uh, biodegradability doesn't seem to be the silver bullet either because whatever is being dissolved is called like a cold incineration so a lot of carbon dioxide and water goes then into the soil which ends up in the food chain finally so we need to look into recycling and currently as we as serious snacks producers have an issue with the fact that we use obviously different polymers different uh, foils and aluminium in order to keep the products fresh in order to maintain a very very high level of food safety and decrease food waste we need to look and to invest into R&D in order to further develop plastics which are better recyclable but keep the same standards as we have right now.